You show up for work on a Monday morning, and you receive a request to meet with your supervisor as soon as possible. They want to discuss your next project. You do good work, no severe mistakes. This can only be positive. And for sure, you're going to work on the cool next project, right? So your supervisor explains that your project is going to require you to dive into antiquated software that hasn't been maintained in years. You must improve it, solve a few problems, and stabilize it. Your supervisor says the higher-ups have faith that you're up to the task and are confident you'll complete it despite having zero experience with this legacy component. Is this your big break? You open the project and gaze at the code, and you get that sinking feeling that you've just accepted a lemon of a task. There's no code documentation. None of the developers who worked on this project in the past are still working for the company, and nobody seems to know if they're even among the living. So nobody knows how it works, and you're on your own. Echoes from the code base abyss. Implementing a new functionality should be the easiest part. So you start by leveraging the existing functions that you think have the correct code just by going by the method names. I mean, that's what they're called, right? You compile and you run to test that you've done things right by taking a few shortcuts and you get a bit hopeful that this may be easier. Your confidence in impressing the higher ups is on the rise. In mid testing though, it kind of becomes clear that your quick and blind improvement doesn't work and won't be the right approach. You try another trick with a refactoring tool only to see refactored function fail. Every change you make breaks something. You just spend the better part of the first day doing what everyone else has done with this component in the past. But it won't work this time, as you clearly don't understand the internal workings of this piece of code. You go home discouraged, but not beaten. You reach out to a mentor as a Hail Mary. What could they do? It's not like they know this component. A reply comes. You cannot improve what you don't understand. Also, does it work in the first place? Write some tests and make sure they pass. The first part goes over right over your head, but the second part kind of registers with you and you reflect on it for a few minutes. You could change the code, refactor it and fix it, and all the while your test would run repeatedly to ensure you still get the expected result. This strategy might stop the fix break endless loop. Your sleep is not very restful, plagued with dreams of playing whack-a-mole with a mallet restricted by a short rope, making the game rigged and sure to lose. First thing in the morning, you look at the code with a renewed determination. You pick a minor function that you were trying to use and also refactor. It's a bit cryptic, but following the code isn't too bad. You make notes directly into the code using comments so you don't forget anything. Once you understand it, write a few tests to test for the expected results. Some pass, but one fail. You go over the function again and you find a bug. Label this test as a way to test for a bug and then fix the code. All the tests pass. It took you several hours to get this far, but the baby steps meant there were no steps backward. It was all progress. Another positive point is the comments you put in that function documents on how it works. You see a pattern for a split second, but then it's gone. Cursing for this moment of clarity to return, you commit to your changes and test to the source code repository for safekeeping. On the first day, your Darth code cut off your hand and the wrist. Now you dance with it, wielding keyboard and mouse as Luke with his trusty lightsaber. You're now better armed with a method where the enemy cannot cripple you. The enemy also cannot push you back and cause you to lose ground. It becomes clear that you must work hard to defeat this foe quickly and automatically. You have to study it, test their reactions, and understand. The next day, you resume your cautious test and document approach. It's going faster. You complete the documentation and improvements returning green tests within half a day. Again, you look at the functions and there's a pattern. The moment of clarity stays now. Unknown to you, there'll be many more as you continue to advance in your task. Several days later, 
was it weeks? You've completed the project. The component has the new functionality. You documented the code, which is now clear to you. Many issues have been resolved, including some that nobody knew existed. You reflect on what brought you to the end of this journey. This code is no longer your nemesis. It's now one of the things that has taken you to the next level of your voyage in becoming a better developer.